young and, and you you see things that are close to you, they, they seem more attainable, you know, versus being from Idaho, you know, somewhere and, and never seeing an entertainer and wanting to be an entertainer, you, you kind of get the feeling like, well, maybe this just isn't where entertainers come from, you know? It, yes. it, it's, and so seeing Run and, and, and D and J and, and, and LL and guys like that, you know, who all basically on the same neighborhood. LL was from Farmers, but that's like, I was right, right across, right, this is right there. Hollis is here, Farmers is here. So, yeah. you know, we, um, we got a, I think a lot of guys that grew up in Queens got a sense of why, if, if, if they could do it, why not me? Like a lot of young black men do, you know, I got into hustling and, you know, selling drugs and, and just just getting into the wrong things, you know, the wrong crowd. And, and, but that's what you, you know, that's what you encounter, that's what you grow up around, and, and that's what you see. And I, you know, I, I'm blessed, like I said, to, to have the opportunity, you know, to be fortunate enough to see, you know, guys like Run DMC, you know, to, to, to let me know there is something outside of selling drugs and being the local drug dealer, you know, and, and trying to be the biggest drug dealer. I could be the biggest rapper, you know, and, and I, and I kind of chose that path a little bit later on. I did this album in about two, three weeks tops. Really a special album. I mean, back was against the wall, you know, like not much time to really do what I, what I, what I had, you know, set out to do for the project, but we, we it came together much better than I could ever imagine. You know, I, I think when you work in, in those type of circumstances, things just, you know, God just makes things happen in the right way, and it, it, it all just came came together really, really nice. Jealousy, please, nobody befriend me. Now.